This is our immobilization cabinet. It contains our backboards, uh, circle collars, head blocks, and any type of restraining devices in case of a trauma where we need to do spinal immobilization. And then this cabinet here is our uh, other devices. We have a wheeled stair chair, uh, splints, uh, immobilization devices also, safety flares, and uh, it's just a miscellaneous cabinet containing this, this type of equipment. Obviously, this is the patient's compartment. Consisting of our stretcher, airway bag, heart monitor. Med bag is locked up in the cabinet. These are the main uh, tools we use to go on every call that we go on. This is a newer style ambulance. We've gone to a uh, individual safety bucket seat, which uh, restrains the Attendant and it makes it so he does not have to get up or, he, or she does not have to get up during transport to stay safely restrained. Side compartment, access compartment. This is normally where the attendants will come in and out. The patient's obviously in the, in, the, in the back. Another attendant seat here in case we need a third or fourth possibly rider with us to handle a critical call with us. They may also be restrained at the same time. Med bag, suction devices, other drugs, other medical equipment is uh, contained in these other cabinets out here. And obviously with the front cab, this is uh, the mobile data terminal that we have that communicates with the 911 center. It has all our information that we need during a call. It actually uh, is able to locate us on an AVL system, keep track of where we are, and uh, choose the closest ambulance to whatever particular call that we're going on.